Duterte government's attacks against rights defenders in the Philippines have worsened with the recent passage of the Anti-Terrorism Act. Various military, police, and pro-social media accounts are used in terrorist tagging and inciting violence against us, including our families and children. Tarpaulins with the faces of rights defenders have appeared, accusing us of being recruiters of armed groups. Posters and flyers have circulated, branding indigenous people's organizations and service institutions as communist fronts. Some IPHRDs have been forced to submit and clear themselves from the military's blacklist, only to be presented later as rebel surrenderies. Trumped-up charges have been filed and IPHRDs imprisoned, even killed. The government has been spreading disinformation and building cases against us in reprisal against those who resist development aggression, plunder, and human rights violations, and dare to bring our issues to the United Nations. The National Commission on Indigenous Peoples has criticized the High Commissioner's Report on the Philippines and even uses a Lumad Datu to vilify me by name in relation to an IP trip to the UN in 1987. We fear that this systematic campaign to delegitimize and criminalize IPHRDs is preparatory to the full implementation of the Anti-Terrorism Act, where many more of us will be imprisoned, tortured, disappeared, or killed. We endorse the High Commissioner's recommendations and join the European Parliament in calling on the Human Rights Council to conduct an independent in partial investigation on the worsening human rights situation in the Philippines.